they live to go to work and they live to please their handlers and they're pleasing their handlers by the work they do. So that's all the reward they need personally. Responsible canine policing is simply more than just taking advantage of a dog's size and speed. It's the result of constant state-of-the-art training, knowing how and when to deploy canines effectively and safely, and of course, that much celebrated bond that exists between a canine and his human counterpart. And those canine officers are out in the middle of the briar and brambles and backyards and, and warehouses and that, and uh, patrol does a really good job of covering them, but that dog takes off on a track, only a good world-class sprinter oftentimes can hang on to them. So sometimes it was just worrying about the situations they were getting into and, and what was going on. Um, but as a supervisor, you, you got to know the handlers, you got to know the supervisors. Sergeant Minakami is one of the finest there is, and you trust them. And I think that that's one of the biggest things is, is I felt good with the trust that I had with the officers and sergeant in that unit. There